So the most reactive and aggressive breed that I've worked with this year, these guys right here. And the main reason why that I feel, for my opinion, why these guys are so reactive and why they are so aggressive is because people get these dogs, they're working breed and they try to turn them into a pet. So then when you have a situation like that, you're basically going against the genetics of the dog and trying to reform them into something that you want as a pet owner. These dogs are working dogs. And you gotta understand, they need a job to do. They need structure, all right? They need mental stimulation, a lot of physical stimulation, all right? The dog is pacing back and forth. He's uncontrollably barking sometimes. You take him for a walk, that's not enough. You're gonna have to use some toys. You might have to get a bite sleeve. You might have to get tug toys. You're gonna have to do stuff to tap into that. And I'm gonna show you guys right now a little trick that you can do if you have a dog like this, all right? You gotta tap into their prey drive. Wait, all right, this is Gunny right here. He's a working line German Shepherd, uh, working line Rottweiler, excuse me. And his family got him because, you know, they just wanted a big dog. So that's the first mistake right there. They didn't know what they were getting themselves into. And they didn't realize that they got themselves a working breed dog. So as he was developing, all these changes started happening and they couldn't understand what's going on because they thought he was gonna be a pet. So Gunny right here, ended up being a working dog too much for the family. When he was one, I trained him. His family sent him here for board and train. Very reactive in the beginning. Didn't like people, dogs, bikes, uh, mopeds. Didn't, motorcycles, didn't like it, all right? So it was hard to work with him in the beginning because as soon as we step out the house, reactive to everything, all right? He did a board and train with us for six weeks. After that, I was walking through Manhattan with him, hopping on the train, everything. We desensitized him, we socialized him. Going back home, his family doesn't understand these are things you have to do. When you have a working dog, you have to put them in these situations and let them know like, this is your life. Because other than that, they're workers. He's a guard dog. This is what they do. They get territorial. Who's this? Who's that? You gotta make sure that you're staying consistent on whatever it is you're working with your dog. You can't take two, three months off. So unfortunately, his family, when they got him back, they didn't stay consistent. And uh, you know, now he's back and he has to find a new home because it's too much for them. It's too much. They did the right thing though. At least they didn't just try to put him and give him to anybody. They sent him back here. They want me to um, fine tune him up and then we're gonna put him in a, 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 a great place. Somebody who has the time and understands working dogs so they can actually, you know, give Gunny a great life and have fun with him at the same time. If you like working dogs, this type of stuff is fun. It's fun. He's not a pet. He's not gonna wanna sit down and watch Netflix with you all day. He might watch one episode, but then he's gonna look at you like this. Take me outside. Take me outside. And you gotta go outside. If not, he's just gonna go in the house. He's gonna be in the house and just have this built up energy. What do you want? <clears throat> what do you want? Do you wanna go outside? Do you wanna go outside? <clears throat> My boy burnt out. This is what you gotta do with him, all right? Chase, 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 add some obedience into it. Okay, let him get it again. Woo, good boy. But he's getting tired. But you see, that's what we need. We need him to get tired. We need him to get this out of his system. So then now the rest of the day could be a beautiful day. Like I said, most of the, most of the Rottweilers I worked with this year are really, really, really frustrated. So I'm not gonna say that they're bad dogs. You guys know this, since we've been speaking, I've been talking to you guys, I never said they were bad dogs at all but people try to go against the genetics of the dog. All right, these dogs are working dogs. They were once police dogs once upon a time. So that just lets you know like they have a job to do. They were bred for work and you have to tap into that. Out, Gunny out, down, down. All right, you have to work the, the dog in that prey drive. So you can use this stuff and incorporate obedience at the same time. But a lot of the dogs I worked with, I'm gonna give them a little quick 15 second break. A lot of the dogs I worked with, when I work with this breed, a lot of the owners don't do this type of stuff with them. So what you have is a frustrated dog, a dog who's built up and they don't know how to release it. So when they have all this energy inside of them, it's like a volcano just gonna explode. So when they do explode, sometimes it happens in the worst, you know, situations where they actually explode and get a person or get another dog, you know? Doing stuff like this will help it out. 
you can help out your dog by releasing it. So if you take your dog for a walk and you don't tap into this type of stuff, your dog's walking around with all this built up energy pumping out his chest. Now the dog is, you know, he's in that mindset where he's like, I got to do something. I got to get somebody. I got to get another dog, something. But then you help them get it out. You take your dog outside, you're going to get a different dog. The dog is going to be much calmer. You know, if he does look at something, something that would trigger him before you release the energy, you can talk to the dog after you do this and take him for a walk and say, leave it. But if you don't get this energy out, your dog is, like I said, he's going to be a volcano. So he's walking, it's ready to explode on anything. So the whole entire time, you'll be talking to the dog. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. And the dog will just be re reacting the whole entire time. His prey drive is really high. Doesn't make him a bad dog. You see, I can incorporate the obedience. Gunny, sit. Good. Okay. When you get a big breed, right, large breed, any, any big dog, you don't have to be this big macho man or drill sergeant to get them to listen. If they have the small dog, they talk to the dog like a baby, and they go to the big dog, they talk to the big dog and it's whole, they treat them a whole, a whole different way. But really, all it is is stay consistent and make sure you're backing up what you're saying. So if I tell my dog down, and he breaks that down, I'm gonna go over there and place him back in the down the same exact way I placed him there the first time. I'm not gonna walk over there and get frustrated and because he's a bigger dog, feel like I gotta pop my chest out or say it with a deeper voice or yell at him, all right? Uh-uh, uh-uh, look, perfect example. Correction word, uh-uh, that's my correction word. Gunny down, it's that simple, all right? Because you still want your dog to be happy to be with you. If you guys check out his tail, just look how excited he is. He's just waiting, all right? Wait, all right, and I say wait because I dropped the toy. Let him know he can't just get it yet. Okay. So you gotta make sure you have control over your dog. Gotta have the control. Woo, that's a good boy, Gunny. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. And be careful, guys, because those teeth, those teeth hurt. So when you're playing with your dog, just, you know, sometimes you might have to move out the way you know, you gotta be swift. Don't be stiff, be swift. And this is a dog right here where obedience is mandatory. Every dog obedience is mandatory, but you have to start dogs like this young. You don't want them to develop any type of uh, bad behaviors and it becomes normal to them, especially reacting to other dogs because this is a big breed right here. He's a hundred and plus. He's definitely over hundred pounds. And we don't want a dog like this to feel like, oh, I could walk outside and guess what? I could bark at people. I could bark at dogs. I could lunge at people, you know, or people coming over your house, guests, family, and they're controlling the environment. So you have to make sure you're being a great leader. Incorporate the obedience immediately. As soon as you get your dog, it's never too early to train, two months. You can teach your dog things at two months. I'll make a video on that, on what you guys can start training a puppy that's about eight weeks old, what, what you should be doing with a puppy around that, around that age, all right? A dog like this is gonna take some time out your day. It's not a dog you could just leave in the crate 10 hours a day, go to work, come home, walk him, and that's it. He needs physical stimulation. He needs mental stimulation, all right? He needs structure. He needs to know like, oh, okay, I know I'm gonna get my prey drop fixed, all right? I know I'm gonna get my aggression fixed if I need to go bite something, you know? You gotta understand that, guys. It's a working breed, all right? It's not a pet. If it's too much for you, Consider a turtle or, or a, a goldfish from a fair. Don't get a dog that's gonna require some responsibility and you don't have the time for it. You gotta make sure you make the time for it if you get one of these. Cause next thing you know, they're gonna just be on somebody's marketplace page or in a shelter because it's not exactly what you thought. So this is why it's important to do that research on the breed you're gonna get before you get it, okay? Don't get it because you like the colors. Don't get it because I just need a big dog in the house. There's, there's a lot of big dogs. Make sure you get a big dog that fits your lifestyle. All right, guys? So this is my boy Gunny right here. I hope this video helped you guys out. Me and Gunny are gonna finish playing. Catch you guys in the next video. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo.